हमें यहाँ तो x का कॉन्स्टेंट सेम चाहिए होता है ताकि हम उसको प्लस या माइनस करके कैंसिल कर दें या y का कॉन्स्टेंट सेम चाहिए होता है यहाँ ताकि हम उसको प्लस या माइनस करके कैंसिल कर दें अब इस क्वेश्चन में ना ही x के कॉन्स्टेंट सेम है ना ही y के कॉन्स्टेंट सेम है तो हम क्या करेंगे हम एक विंगन को ऐसे नंबर से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे कि हमारे पास x और y दोनों के कॉन्स्टेंट सेम हो जाए लेट सपोज हमने सोचा कि हम y के कॉन्स्टेंट को सेम करते हैं हम y या x में से किसी एक के कॉन्स्टेंट को सेम करेंगे वी कैन चूज एनी वन ओके लेट सपोज वी थॉट डिट वे कैन चूज मेक द y कॉन्स्टेंट सेम तो हम ये थ्री है ये सेवन है अगर हम इस पूरी इक्वेंगन को सेवन से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो ये ट्वेंटी वन बन जाएगा और इस पूरी इक्वेंगन को थ्री से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो फिर भी ये ट्वेंटी वन बन जाएगा यानी कि आप जब मल्टीप्लाइंग विद सेवन इन थ्री वो विल गेट द टू न्यू इक्वेंगन और जो न्यू इक्वेंगन होंगे उसमें वाई का कॉन्स्टेंट सेम होगा आप देखते सेवन टाइम सेवन इज फोर्टी नाइन ए माइनस ट्वेंटी वन बाई इज टाइम सेवन इज हमने देखा कि आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग विदोजिट नंबर यहाँ पे थ्री था तो इसको सेवन से मल्टीप्लाई कर लिया यहाँ सेवन था तो इसको थ्री से मल्टीप्लाई कर लिया वी गेट न्यू टू इक्वेंगन जिसमें एक्स और वाई दोनों के कॉन्स्टेंट सेम है सो नाउ दिस इज इजी फॉर एस टू सॉल्व बिकॉज वी नो That they are adding. If we will add the two equations, it will be cancelled out. So forty nine plus eighteen will be sixty seven x. One twenty six plus seventy five will be two two zero one. So x is equal to two zero one divided by sixty seven, and x is equal to three. तो हमारे पास x की वैल्यू थ्री आ गई अब x की वैल्यू को हम इन दोनों में से बल्कि इन चारों में से किसी भी इक्वेशन में पुट करके अपना आंसर निकाल लेंगे तो मैं हमेशा फर्स्ट इक्वेशन चूज करती हूँ तो सेवन इंटू थ्री माइनस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू एटीन सेवन टाइम थ्री इज ट्वेंटी वन माइनस एटीन इज इक्वल टू थ्री वाई नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन थ्री बाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू वाई विच इज इक्वल टू वन जी बच्चों ये ये क्वेश्चन सब बच्चों को समझ आया यस इज इट क्लियर फॉर एवरीवन ओके कमिंग टू पार्ट बी फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव थ्री एक्स माइनस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी थ्री ओके तो बच्चों इसमें अगेन हमारे पास सेम प्रॉब्लम है आइदर वी हैव फोर एंड थ्री फॉर द एक्स एक्स एंड फॉर द वाई कोऑर्डिनेट वी हैव थ्री एंड टू तो हम क्या करेंगे बच्चों सबसे पहले वी हैव टू चूज कि हमने एक्स को सेम करना है कि वाई को तो बच्चों आप लोग बताओ कि हम एक्स को सेम करें या वाई को सेम करें शुड वी गो फॉर एक्स बिकॉज उनके चलो बाय को कर लेते हैं अगर हमने बाय के कोऑर्डिनेट सेम करने हो तो हम फर्स्ट इक्वेशन को किससे मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे एवरीवन शुड आंसर वाई के कोऑर्डिनेट सेम करने वी कैन मल्टीप्लाईड बाय टू एंड देन वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई द अदर इक्वेशन विद सेकंड इक्वेशन बाय थ्री वी विल मल्टीप्लाई फर्स्ट इक्वेशन बाय टू एंड सेकंड बाय थ्री ये स्टेप सबको समझ आया यस मोहनद एंड दानियाल समझ आ गया Yes, Mohanan. Why did we multiply with two and why did why did we multiply with three? Is it clear? Uh, six. Six. So, okay. Okay. Four times two is eight x plus six y 
is equal to minus 10. 9x minus 6y is equal to 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. So now are we going to add it or subtract it? Add it. We're going to add it. So we will get 17x, which is equal to 119. So 119 divided by 17 is equal to 7. Now we will find the value of 5. 4 into 7 plus 3y is equal to minus 5. Okay, minus 5 y minus equals 3. 11. So y will be equal to 11. Is it clear for everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. So part C. 2x plus 3y is equal to h. Mohanad, you are going to do this question. Five x plus two y is equal to nine. Okay, teacher. Yes, Mohanad. Please tell me which variable I have to choose and with which I have to multiply. Um, Ma'am, we can choose um uh, x. Okay. And we can uh the first equation we can multiply by it uh, with five, and the second okay. with two. Okay. So we get five times two is ten x plus fifteen y equals forty, and here we we'll get ten x. Plus four by equals eighteen. Okay, now Mohanad, are we going to add them or subtract them? Ma'am, we will subtract them. Okay. It will be cancelled. So what we will get? Fifteen minus four is eleven y. Yes. Let's do. Uh... So y is equal to two. So now yes. find x. Two x plus three into two is equal to eight. 2x plus 6 is equal to 8. 2x is equal to 8 minus 6. x is equal to? Um, 4. No, 2 upon, uh, 2 upon 2. 1. Okay. Yes. So we are done with C part 2. Okay. Now I am going to give you 5 minutes to do D, E and F part on your own.
Done, everyone. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, let's suppose I'm going to make y equivalent. And the second one will be 4, will equals to 25x plus 20y equals to 5. And the other one is uh, 12x plus 20y equals to 16. Uh, dono plus hai, toh, minus 12x or minus 20 uh, cut hota hai. So 13x equals to 39 and x equals to 3. Okay. And y equals to? And y equals to 1. Y equals to 1. Okay. Next part is e bar 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 1. Sabka d bar ke liye hi answer aaya hai na? Yes. 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 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 1. 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. Yes, Dania. Love you. Question after going. Hmm. Um, Penny equation ko three se two se multiply karenge. Three se two four is eight x minus six y equals minus two fifteen in x minus six y equal. Let's do 12. Well, okay, next. Either we will add them or subtract them. Add them. Look carefully. Subtract them. You have solve it. Solve it. Yeah. So what we will get? X is equal to? Uh, minus uh, 2. Ryan, chill, 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 chill. 4 into 2 minus 3 pi is equal to minus 1. Okay, Daniel. What will be the value of y? Uh, 2. I have time to get the solve. I have to solve it. I have to Y is equal to 3. Yes, Mohanad. Last part we're going to do. Yes, teacher. It was 5x minus 4y is equal to 5x minus 4y is equal to 23. And 2x minus 7y is equal to 11. Yes, Mohanad. Yes, teacher. Uh, teacher, first we will make uh, x uh, the same. Okay. We will multiply by 2 and uh, 5. Okay. Uh, it will become uh, 10x minus uh, 8y equals to um, 46. Okay. And uh, uh, 10x minus uh, 35y equals to 55. 
now we will subtract them teacher okay uh it will be uh, 8y minus 35 uh, yes. will be 35 minus 5 and 3 uh, 23 uh, 27y plus 2 minus 50 minus 1 and uh, no 55 minus 46 2, two minutes teacher 9 minus 9 okay so y is equal to uh, it will be th uh, three. No. One upon three. One upon three. Okay. So now let's find x. Four one upon three equals to five x plus four by three is equal to twenty three. 5x is equal to 23 minus 4 by 3, which can be written uh, 23 3, 6, upon 1. Uh, 3, 6, 69 minus by 3. 69 minus 4 equals to uh, 65. 50, uh, 5x equals to uh, 65 upon 3. 5 divided by 3 equals to. Uh, I will define 5. 15, 13 by 3. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay. So we are done with this question. Use the substitution method to solve each of the following pairs of simultaneous equation. Okay. So now substitution method means we need to solve one equation, find x or y from the equation and put it in another equation. First equation is x plus y. Ma'am, we are doing uh, exercise 4E or 4D. I don't know. Can someone answer the question? Alia, Daniel? Which exercise are we doing? I think... This is the last the exercise. No, second last maybe. Second last. Second last. Okay. Okay, so in the substitution method, we will find either the value of x or either the value of y. So let's find the value of x from here. x is equal to 7 minus y. Now, after we find the value of x, we will substitute in the second equation. So in the second equation, in, the, in place of x, we can write 7 minus y. And other parts will remain as it is. Minus y is equal to 5. We will find the value of x or y from one equation and put it in another equation. So what we will get? 7 minus 2y, which is equal to 5. So 7 minus 5 is equal to 2y. 2 by 2 is equal to y. So y is equal to 1. Now putting 1 in this equation, we will get x is equal to 7 minus 1. x is equal to 6. Got it? Okay. 3x minus y is equal to 0. Two x plus y is equal to five. Okay. So we are going to use the substitution method. Two x plus y is equal. To So from this equation, let's calculate y. 3x is equal to y. So after we get y from this equation, we can substitute the value of y in this equation. So 2x plus, instead of y, I can write 3x is equal to 5. So I will get 5x is equal to 5. So I will get x is equal to 1. And from here, I can find out y that is equal to 3. Is it clear to everyone? Yes. Mm. Okay. 2x minus 7y is equal to 5.
3x plus y is equal to minus 4. Okay. So we need to substitute. We can find out value of y from here. 3x plus 4 is equal to y. Now we can put it in this equation. 2x minus 7y is equal to 5. So instead of y, I will put this value. That is 2x minus 7. What is y? 3x plus 4 is equal to 5. 2x minus 21x minus 7y is equal to 5. 2 minus 21 is minus 19x. This is 3x plus 4. What is this happening? 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, minus 19x is equal to 5 plus 28. Minus 19x is equal to 33. So you will get x is equal to minus 33 by 9. Okay, now let's find y. p into minus 33 by 19 plus 4 is equal to y. Minus 99 19, by 19, 19. plus 4 by, we can write 19, so 4 times 19 is 76. 76. So 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 7 is 2, minus 23 by 19. So is it clear with everyone? Hmm. Yes, teacher, it is clear. Okay, what is the next part? 5x minus y is equal to 5. And the equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 29. Okay, so 5x minus 5 is equal to y. And here we are going to substitute y. 3x plus 2, 5x minus 5 is equal to 29. 3x plus 10x minus 10 is equal to 29. 13x is equal to 29 plus 10. 13x is equal to 9, 3x is equal to 3. So here we can write 5, 3 minus 5 is equal to y. 15 minus 5 is 10. Okay, part E. Okay, 5x plus 3y is equal to 11, 4x minus y is equal to 2, 4x minus 2 is equal to y. So instead of y, I'm going to write it. 5x plus 3 
4x minus 2 is equal to 11. 5x plus 12x minus 6 is equal to 11. 17x is equal to 11 plus 6. 17x is equal to 17x is equal to 1. 4 times 1 minus 2 is equal to y. 4 minus 2 is 2. F part. 3x plus 5y is equal to 10. x minus 2y is equal to 7. So x is equal to 7 plus 2y. So we can write 3, 7 plus 2y plus 5y is equal to 10. Eleven y is equal to ten. So eleven y is equal to ten minus twenty one. Y is equal to minus. So x will be equal to 7 plus 2 into minus 1. Five. Okay, if there is no problem, ho, students, you can ask me. G part, x plus y is equal to 9. 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. So we can write y is equal to 9 minus 6. So here we can substitute y minus 2, 9 minus 6 is equal to 4. So 5x minus 18 plus 2x is equal to 4. 3x is equal to 4 plus 18. 3x is equal to 22. Teacher, 3, uh, 3x to new, but teacher, 7x so jayega. 7x a 5, 6, 7, yes. Five x is nine to the eighteen, two x is equal to four. So seven x is equal to twenty two, x is equal to twenty two by seven. So y is equal to nine minus twenty two by seven. We can write 7 and 9 into 7 is 63. 3 minus 2 is 1. 6 minus 2 is 4. 41 by 7. Okay. G part is done. H part. Okay. 5x plus 2y is equal to 3. x minus 4y is equal to minus 6. So x is equal to minus 6 plus 4y. So 5 times minus 6 plus 4y plus 2y is equal to 3. Minus 6 pi is 30 plus 5 for the 20 by plus 2y is equal to 3. So we can write 22y is equal to 3 plus 30. 22y is equal to 60. y is equal to 60 divided by 22. 30 by 11. x is equal to minus 6 plus Four. 30 by 11 minus 6 plus 4 to the 12 by 11 so it would be 1 11 times 66 
1 times 11 is 11. 11 times 6 is 66. Right? Okay. So what you will get? 120 minus 66. Fifty four by eleven. Yes, students. It's no questions me no problem to ask. So I will start the next question. Question number five. Okay, using elimination method to solve each of the following pairs of simultaneous again. Again, we have the elimination method. So, elimination method, you have already seen this before. So, this is very good. Express y is equal to 0.5. X minus y is equal to 1. Minus 0.5 is equal to 1. Minus 0.5 is equal to 1. X minus y is equal to 1. So, what is going to happen? 2x is equal to 1.5. X is equal to 1.5 by 2. 5, 3 is 15, 5, 4 is 20. So we can write 3 by 4 plus y is equal to 1 by 2. 0 0.5 is 1 by 2, okay? So y is equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4. So we can multiply by 2. y is equal to 2 by 4 minus 3 by 4. y is equal to minus 1 by 4. x is equal to 3 by 4. Okay, but your elimination method is easy enough. We have done a lot of practice for elimination method. 2x plus 0.4 by. If you have any problem, you will tell me. These are only decimals used and nothing else. 2x plus 0.4 by is equal to 8. 2x plus 0.4 by is equal to 8. 2x plus 0.4 by is equal to 8. 2x plus 0.4 by is equal to 9. I think when the Bara class run the letter is going to end. Okay. No. Okay, be part. So we can go for first equation go five se multiply kar lete hain, second go two se. So we will get ten x plus zero point four four five se multiply karo. You will get two two y is equal to eight times five is forty. 5 times 2 is 10x minus 1.24 multiply by 2 say we will get 2.4y is equal to 80. So, but the same test you have done the elimination key in the same way, but the same decimals are in the same way. So, 2 plus 2.4, which is 4.4. Abdullah, age of woman is here. Make, make sure to switch off the huh? mic. Pichu. Age of your mind, Alia. Forty minus eighteen is twenty-two. So y is equal to twenty-two by four point four. So you will get two twenty by forty-four. So y is equal to five. Okay. So y is equal to five. I'm just going to take a pen and put it first again. Let's pause my first equation. Me put karu. 2x plus 0 0.45 is equal to 8. So what will I get? 0 0.4 times 5, which is 2. So 2x plus 2 is equal to 8. 2x is equal to 8 minus 2. 2x is equal to 6. x is equal to 3. This was the concept of the B part. Okay, C part. 
टेन एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव वाई इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो वी कैन गो विद थ्री एंड टेन सो वट वी विल गेट थर्टी एक्स माइनस नाइन वाई इज इक्वल टू कैलकुलेट करें सो थर्टी एक्स माइनस So we can subtract now. Okay. So fifty minus nine will be forty-one by is equal to one thirty-five minus seventy-three point five will be sixty-one point five. So what will be the value of y? Sixty-one point five divided by forty-one, which is one point five. So now you can find x three x minus five. One point five is equal to thirteen point five. So three x minus one point five multiplied by five is seven point five. Is equal to thirteen point five. Thirteen point five minus seven point five is six. So three x is equal to plus seven. Thirteen point five plus seven point five should be equal to twenty one. So x is equal to seven. Okay, so now everyone try D part. Try D part yourself. D part is is in front of the screen.
ये टॉयलेट आ जाएगा बस ओ ठीक है ओके तो फाइट कर लिया आप लोगों ने यस हेलो ओके सिक्स सिक्स प्लस फाइव फाइव इज इक्वल टू टेन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री फाइव इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री ओके सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज मिस वी विल मेक वाई द सेम टेन ट्वेंटी मैं वाई थ्री भी आह सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इक्वल्स टू टू टाइम्स वन इस टू टू थ्री ना सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इस थ्री ओके मैं वैल्यू डिक्रीज क्यों होगी हमारी कहीं के देखें ना ओके ठीक है सेवेन पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव ठीक है यहाँ तक एवरीवन एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर एवरीथिंग इज डन यस ओके नाउ वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ओके वी विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन इंशाल्लाह यू पीपल कैन आल्सो ट्राई डूइंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सेवन एट एट होम एंड वी विल डू ऑन द स्क्रीन इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन इंशाल्लाह ओके ओके Take care bye